Yes, yes. We're just going to get right into this uh, quick little recap. Um, for those who don't know, um, the KOTD card, the decade card was today. And um, right now who just battled was Jims and Sharon. Um, good battle. Um, when this battle was announced, I really wasn't, to be honest, too excited about it. Um, Jims um, is known, you know, one thing with Jims, he is definitely very consistent. Jims are always definitely will bring it. Um, so whenever a league owners book gyms, they know they're going to get at least three solid rounds. Um, when this, when this battle was initially announced, um, I was kind of like, this is going to be kind of like a, a, a battle of who's the funniest because we know Sharon tells jokes while and now, you know, he's doing his thing. And then also Jim's is his blogs and everything. He's hilarious, man. He's hilarious. So I just thought it was going to be real funny. But Jim comes out, sets, uh, sets the tone. He had, a, to me, a real solid first round, real good first round to me. Um, Sharon goes, also comes, had a decent uh, solid round. To me, this is this this round here was the, the only round I could clearly say that I feel like Jim's kind of edged it, in my opinion, uh, with his material. But... Rounds two and rounds three, honestly, I gave it to, to Sharon. To me, Sharon was kind of like styling on gyms. I don't want to really say everything um, because, you know, it was on pay-per-view. And I, wait, and this is just off of first watch. Uh, but for those who don't know, I mean, definitely try to try to definitely check it out. But um, Sharon, um, it was just lines that I could just think of, like the new, new nails line. Uh, rap, you have rappers put more hands on you than the new, new nails, something like that. That was fire from Sharon, fire. Um, also, uh, I don't know, just the way Sharon to me was kind of, he was kind of like styling on Jims a little bit, in my opinion. Um, I kind of like some of the things Jims was saying, like Jims was talking about how Sharon is scared of battle A war. I hope, I hope that's not true. Cause I would like to see that battle in 2019. That, that'd be a real good battle. Um, but, but yeah, uh, Sharon, uh, would just, would just, uh, to me was just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more witty in, in this battle um, to me. I, I kind of edge it. But one thing I could definitely say about Jim's, like I mentioned, uh, people who always doubt him, who always says, oh, he's going to get three old or he's not ready, he always tends to uh, at least get around. Like one thing, like I said, man, his consistency is by far, you know, um, to me uh, in the upper echelon because he always definitely tends to come with uh with three definitely solid rounds but um just off of first watch i edged it to sharon uh two one i gave him rounds two and three i did give jim's uh the first round um in in that battle uh, but you guys let me know for those who watch it just let me know uh but i'm just thinking just like i mentioned just off off the top of bars that i just heard to me it was just like Sharon, Sharon was to me his 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 lines were just hitting a little bit harder than Jim's. Like I said, that new new nails line was just fire. I was just like, wow, you know. And a lot of people may say in the building, Sharon was kind of gassed because uh, the the audience was more receptive to me uh, for Sharon than Jim's. But Sharon, like I said, he's just a vet, um, and Jim's is a vet as well. But Sharon, I just feel like um, it just his material was just uh, better. That's just really off a of first watch. So once. The battle actually drops. I could definitely elaborate a little bit more, but I just wanted to give a real quick recap on who I thought won. Um, on awful first watch, I did edge it to Sharon 2-1. For those who watch it, just let me know what you think. Um, and until then, let's continue to talk about it. Salute.